types of bonds across a period. We're going to consider the oxides of elements in period 3, meaning sodium oxide, magnesium oxide, aluminium oxide, and so on. Sodium oxide, magnesium oxide, and aluminium oxide form ionic bonds with oxygen. When these oxides are dissolved in water, they form alkaline or basic solutions. This is because they essentially react with water to form their corresponding hydroxides. For example, magnesium oxide reacts with water to form magnesium hydroxide. And magnesium hydroxide is an alkaline solution or basic solution. Similar reactions will take place with sodium and aluminium. As for silicon, silicon 4 oxide does not dissolve in water. That means it is insoluble in water. The rest of the members, which are phosphorus, sulfur, and chlorine, form different types of oxides. For example, phosphorus forms two types of oxides, which is phosphorus pentoxide or phosphorus 5 oxide and phosphorus 3 oxide. Sulfur forms sulfur 4 oxide and sulfur 6 oxide. Chlorine reacts with oxygen to form different compounds. One of the compounds has a formula of Cl2O7. It is known as dichlorine heptoxide. Now for these elements, phosphorus, sulfur, and chlorine, they form oxides that contain covalent bonds because they are all nonmetals. Now generally nonmetals are insoluble in water. However, some are sparingly soluble in water. But in this case, the oxides of phosphorus, sulfur, and chlorine react with water. For example, sulfur 4 oxide reacts with water to form sulfuric 4 acid. Sulfur 6 oxide reacts with water to form sulfuric 6 acid, what we commonly call sulfuric acid. Another example, we can have phosphorus 5 oxide reacts with water to form phosphoric acid.
in order to balance this equation, we need to put 3 here and 2 here. So that we can have two phosphorus atoms on the reacted side, balancing with the two on the product side, and all the other elements will balance. This one is also acidic. All the others will react in similar ways to form acidic solutions. Next, we're going to deal with the chlorides of elements in period 3. Just like for the oxides, the metals, magnesium and sodium, form ionic bonds with chlorine to form sodium chloride and magnesium chloride. As for aluminium, it has a special kind of behavior whereby it forms covalent bonds as opposed to what we normally expect since it is a metal and chlorine is an unmetal. However, these differences can be explained easily. We remember that the atomic radius of elements across period 3 decrease. So by the time we reach at aluminium, the atomic size of aluminium is very small. So it has high polarizing effect. And so instead of forming ionic bonds, it weakens chlorine and form covalent and dative bonds. Also, there is very small difference between the electronegativity of aluminium and that of chlorine for them to form ionic bonds. So, instead they form covalent bonds and additive bond. Now for the structure, let us draw a simple condensed structure. So aluminium covalently bonds to three chlorine atoms. And then another molecule of aluminium also combines with other three chlorine atoms. Now these two molecules are joined together by dative bonds to form what you call a dimer. So aluminium chloride, which would have been written as AlCl3, is usually written as Al2Cl6 because two molecules of aluminium chloride combine to form a dimer of aluminium chloride. The discussion of aluminium chloride, we go to the other members silicon 4 chloride, phosphorus 5 chloride, and sulfur chloride. Now, these members also have covalent bonds because they are non metals. On the part of solubility in water, 
sodium and magnesium chloride dissolve in water to form neutral solutions. As for aluminium chloride, since it formed a dimer, it also has peculiar characteristics. Instead of dissolving in water, it is hydrolyzed in water to form a complex and fumes of hydrogen chloride gas. So in this case, the hydrogen chloride gas will dissolve in the remaining water to form hydrochloric acid. And therefore, the solution formed when aluminium chloride dissolves or is hydrolyzed in water is acidic. As for the other three members, the chlorides do not dissolve in water. 